Thank you for joining us for the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aram Talegian, San Gabriel Valley newspaper group football writer, joined by San Gabriel Valley Tribune prep sports editor Fred J. Robleto. Freddie has his game face on this week. <laughs> this is a game face. Yeah, and there, and there can be only reason, one reason for that, and that's because Bish Bamont is traveling to Cerritos College on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. to take on Servite in a game, Freddie, that not only has yeah. huge meaning here in the Valley, has big meaning in uh, Orange County as well and, and across the it, whole Southland. Yeah, the whole Southern section here. I mean, this is number one against number three, I think, or number four. That's where Bishop Mott was uh-huh. ranked in the preseason poll. This is the one they've been looking to measure themselves against since they scheduled this game last year. And obviously, Servite warmed up by beating the San Diego section champion uh, Oceanside last week. Mm-hmm. Um, Bishop Amat warmed up with Garfield. And, and Amat got a bit of some big news this week, Aram, with, with their quarterback, Rio Ruiz. He will not be leaving the team after this week to go play baseball with the U.S. National Age Group team in Columbia later this month. He is going to be with the team. Just announced he's going to be with the team all year. So that's got to be a really big boost of energy for that team and excitement uh, getting into the season. But they didn't need any extra si- excitement for a game like Servite. I mean, no. <laughs> this is, this is uh, the one everyone's been watching or, or waiting for. And the big question is, can Bishop Amat hang with them? I mean, it's one thing to try to predict an Amat victory, but I think the big question is, will they be able to, to go down there to Cerritos College and play with this team for four quarters? If you look at Coach Steve Haggerty since he's taken over the last few years, Except for that very first season when he first took over and they had a couple of blowout games, they've been in every single game, even against some pretty good teams. Um, I don't expect them to go down there and just get run over. I think this is too much of a senior-laden team, Aram. I think the 14 nothing win over Garfield last week, a game where uh, Rio didn't start, came into the second quarter. Yeah, they looked a little sluggish. We saw Charter Oak look a little sluggish in their game against Glendora. That happens to top teams, especially... When you've got a game like Servite looming, you've got this big, Coach Harry likes to call them Darth Vader because they're all out in black and they right. go down there. When you've got a game like that waiting in the wings and you've got a team like Garfield that you just kind of got to get out of the way, sometimes you have games like this. This is going to be exciting. And if there's one thing you know, it's uh, uh, Bishop Mott's not going to go down there and feel like a visiting team. They bring their fans. Right. They're going to travel this week. There's going to be a lot of excitement. Mike, the cousin, is going to be there. Tommy's going all the way down to Cerritos to provide post-game highlights, so we're expecting a lot of fun. And you'll be down there as well, Fred. Um, You know, you mentioned the win over Garfield last week. It certainly did not uh, accrue Ahmad any style points, but one of the points that I brought up on the blog um, that I find interesting is how much did Ahmad really show anyways? In that game, you know, Servite's there scouting. Do you really think Almont's gonna gonna lay it all out there against Garfield as far as the playbook is concerned? I, I don't think so. Well, not not in terms of opening it all up. And and true, right. Rio Rio didn't start, which probably helped their cause at the end of the day. They didn't mm-hmm. see him for four quarters. But I don't think that you. I mean, first thing first is they wanted to win the game, and that was a close game in the fourth quarter. I mean, they scored late to make it fourteen nothing. Right. So it's not like you can hold the playbook back too much. You've got to make sure you win the game first. Right. But I think you're gonna really see their. Their offense maybe come to come to life this week. Um, although Servite's got such a great defensive team, I was looking at some of their some of their uh, guys here. They're they're all county guys. Uh, Butch Powell, uh, Domain Mora. I mean, all league defensive linemen. They got the quarterback back, Cody Pittman. I mean, you can go on and on. This is the defending division two time, right? Defending. Yeah, uh, and, and this is the team that everyone in, in is considering to be the best in Southern California, which right. obviously makes them one of the best in the country. So it's it's the huge measuring stick. And you would talk about you know um, what people thought about this game, and I, I really hate to mention Cal Prep's projections because oh. I think they're garbage. Um, you know, I, I, it's all computer based. You know, I don't like the projections and rankings and polls from people who do not see these teams like we do. Um, but Cal Preps projects thirty five to six. You know, come on. Are you really telling me the spread on this game is 29? That's ridiculous. Well, man. you know, it, it is. That's but, ridiculous. But I think if you look on paper, you look what they have coming back, Aram, I mean, and you look in the lines in particular. We had a referee that we talked to that was at that Alma game last week. Mm-hmm. He wasn't impressed with Alma at all. Right. He thought that Garfield actually pushed them around. And he, mm-hmm. when we mentioned Servite, he kind of just rolled his eyes like, you know, good luck. Right. Um, but that's what Alma does but, over but, the years. But, they, they kind of... Their lines, they, they kind of, and Harry talks about this, this blue-collar mentality, they rise to the occasion in games like this. Right. That's going to be the key is, 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 is let opening me, those holes for... for uh, let me, let me, let me go, go ahead. ahead. Go Sorry, ahead. finish your point. Opening those holes for more, I'm For, sure for more and, and, and Rio. He's going to ha- need time to do his thing. If they get that, I think they're going to be all right. Here's my question to you, Fred. 
And this is one way to just kind of look at the game. If you look at the 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 the, the Pac-5, are you going to tell me Rio is not one of the better quarterbacks in the Pac-5? Um, I think he is. I think I by agree. the end of the season you're going to What about Jalen Moore? Is he one of the I better think he's running one of the backs? Better in the running backs. He was all returning first team. Is pack Zach five. Shea when he's healthy one of the better all-purpose guys in the Pac-5? Um, I think he's there. I don't know if he's one of the Yeah, I, 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 he's Why important not? to that team. Right. Okay. So to me Yes, they're probably going to be at a disadvantage along the lines, but they have the skill guys necessary to stay in this game yeah. and to hang in this game. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. Yeah. My trouble and your it, trouble it, it's, is it's when not the like, skill guys, right? I think right. they can match them skill right. guy for skill guy. Right. It's those guys in the trenches. It's it's the depth. It's everything that makes right. Servite Servite. Right. Well, when projecting, when, when when picking this game, it's kind of tough for you and I because we don't see Servite. We're not we're not right. familiar with the talent. We just know what we read. I and saw him on television hear. last year against that. Right. Cell. That wasn't real pretty. Okay, fair enough. But <laughs> you know, it makes it tough to. It's not like we're picking right. two local teams. Um, who do you got in this game, Fred? Well, I, I think you, you know, I would be the, the, the homer of all homers if I picked Bishop Amat to beat Servite. But I do think uh, they're going to go down there and, and make it a great game. I really do, and I'm not just saying that. I don't think, you saw the Cal Preps prediction, 35-6. to 6, I don't think it's going to be like that. I think Amat is going to give a, a better account of themselves, and I think they're going to leave that game feeling good about what they need to do going forward and, and getting ready. Uh, for the Sarah League and in, in the playoffs, I mean, they've got to really prove to their sel- themselves that they can be in games like this and give themselves a chance to win in the fourth quarter. And I think that's all that Haggerty's looking for is a chance to go on the road, Aram, and have a chance, a winnable game in the fourth quarter. That's why I've always said in games like this, the first quarter is so crucial. If they go yeah. in there and it's 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 like watching Houston watch UCLA and the team just comes down the field and scores. Don't I know, mention I know, that, Fred. I know. Just comes down the field and <laughs> scores and scores and scores. <laughs> Almont's going to be in a little trouble. I don't know if they can overcome that. They've got to get through that first quarter. Actually, got to get through halftime. They get into that third quarter in a manageable game. Um, who knows? Okay, we've seen Almont spring these big upsets before in games where they were prohibitive underdogs, especially under Coach Haggerty. Um, we don't know if they're going to have that kind of magic this week. Fred's got Servite closer than the, uh, the, the, the junk projection from Cal Preps predicts, and I've got uh, Servite as well. I think it's going to be a little bit of a closer game. Um, we'll see where Ahmad is along the lines and, 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 and on defense right. um, after this week. Um, get out to that game. Well, we probably don't really need to tell any Ahmad people that. Uh, 7.30 at Cerritos College, Bishop Ahmad against Servite, and arguably the biggest game of the week in, uh, in Southern California. Enjoy. Arguably. <laughs> that is the biggest game of the week. Okay, enjoy it, folks. Thank you.